welcome back everyone in our unreal engine ios and mobile game development so this is our part two and in this part we are going to basically set up a player so uh, in the previous part we set up how you can create a project and basic setup for the project config okay so now uh, i already created a player folder and i already just retargeted two animation one is the ideal animation one is the walking animation once I have the both, now we need to go to the third person, then blueprints, and here you find the third person character. So you can simply duplicate it because uh, it's already have the preset code. That's why. So let me give it name BP player. I like to call it always player because it's a uh, really easy and you know it's very easy to find uh, the character class basically. So then we need a custom game mode so let me uh, set up as a game mode base you can use the game mode only so which is give you more extra free additional feature but for now let's give it let's use this so pp player gm which is game mode basically and instead of that what i'm going to do is at here you find that default pawn class set up here your basically your character class so for the character class you can search your bp player so that's why we uh, name it something like that we can easily recognize it so simply bp player compile and save and once we have that in the game mode we can choose at here so let me choose at here that they are the bp player game mode and we already have a player start location so if i click now on play and it will be show you wl uh, climbing some added uh, the error it's only for my case because i'm in using lots of pack and as a bag that's why so i'm just cl uh, click as a continue and you can see here's my player basically so now i have this thing so now let's uh, go further away okay in the second stage what i'm going to do i'm going to go, uh, go in the viewport section uh, and choose my camera angle and i'm set up in as the same position as our head and compile and save the third what i'm uh, the second what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the player mesh basically so i'm going to change with a winter uh, character uh, mesh so it's probably called the the winter or something like that so let me just search winter and this is a full body character actually so here's our full body character okay and also uh, we need to create a animation blueprint class so um let me put our bp class at here now let's create an animation blueprint so click on right mouse and here you find the animation and animation blueprint now we need to choose our character so at here i'm going to search our player skeleton uh as far i know that i have a name it like this so it's maybe called the human uh the sk human skeleton which is by default provided by the uh, the character the asset pack provider so just click on create a uh, create it and now let's give it name that uh what i'm going to do i'm going to put it name that bp uh, player animation so bp player anime uh, and also what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, write here that m which is uh, indicated as a male so double click and open it and now from the try to get uh, uh the pawn owner will be get velocity to adjust and to verify the speed to get the verify speed from the return value you need to search that the length so the vector length something like that once we have this this is basically the actual speed that how much uh, how our player currently perform so simply compile and save now uh at here you can search cast to uh for now i'm searching cast to uh, bp player and simply connect like this now for uh, getting this uh, speed i'm going to run a sequence from here and also i'm going to run from here as well so something like that and i'm going to promote a variable and i'm calling it name that is speed okay so you can make it a category so i'm giving that uh, info so this is basically uh, highlighting this everything it will be highlight everything if we create a more variable at here or it will be always in this group so it will be more easy for us to find out so compile save so now we have a spread 
now for create a smooth uh, movement animation we are i'm going to uh, use the blend space so at the animation uh, pack i'm going to create a a bs which is basically uh, the blend space so i'm now i'm now going to create a blend space so you can go to animation and here you find the blend space click choose that here and now what you need to do we need to just choose your human skeleton uh like what you were you are using for your character so i'm giving it name that i i uh, the movement movement uh or let's give it name more short move bs which is uh the blend space double click and open it now we need to keep a uh, match with our character speed so the first thing what you need to do you need to first check uh, check the animation the how it's working so what i'm seeing that it's uh, kind of like uh, 200 under 200 so i'm going to choose our uh, in our character movement class you need to go drag and drop at here and here you find the maximum walk speed basically so there you find lots of about the stuff but we need only the max walk speed so it should be somewhere here and if you if you're thinking that it's uh, very hard to find so it's in a character movement walking uh, category and here you find the maximum walk speed let's put it to 200 and save it now compile save in our uh, blend space so now you need to go to the blend space so here's our blend space and in our blend space at the vertical axis you find horizontal axis so i'm giving it name that o uh, o that is only the o and or i'm because we are using going to use a forward uh, the horizontal bar so i'm going to uh, give it name that idle to run okay for now i'm going to just put it idle to work in the future will be improve it more so the maximum was will be the 200 and the the grid will be only two uh, of course uh, even you can put one so there's only one grid and at here i'm going to also put at one grid so it will be not going to be give us uh, the multiple lines so you have now only a one grid zero to start and i'm going to snap target and snap the target okay now i'm going to click on save so here you can see i have lots of animation access as well okay but i only want the forward for this and i want the idle for this one that's why I choose the snap target so you can see that how much smooth it was right now so i'm just disabling the animation so as you can see how smooth it is at here okay now let's go to animation grouping and now at here on the animation graph just here we need to drag and drop our blend space and now in our blend space you can see the walk and none so this is basically where we need to put our the speed so here's the speed value so it will be give the inputs about the our current player speed and it is a stuff so i'm going to create a safe cache pose so because i'm going to use loss of animation in future that's why so i'm giving name it move move sb which is safe cache pose and also i'm going to call it as use safe cache pose so you can uh, search that with the same name it will be more easy to find out and i'm going to duplicate and keep it one and i'm for now i'm just directly adding like this and compile save so now you can see our the character is basically how it's performing now let's go to the bp player now at here and the mesh section let's on the animation class let's choose our the animation which is basically the player animation uh the bp player anime uh, m so let's write that bp uh, player anime m now once we give it something like it will be will be found something like that now compile and save now if i click on play you'll be see that our a smooth character okay as you can see it's a really really cool and it's a really smooth so now you can see uh, because it's kind of like we're creating kind of like a gta type but it's not i'm saying guys the as far as you know that gta is a two more than two billion dollar project but we are not going to create a GTA project but we try to create a similar it's the GTA is basically our reference you can say so you can easily answer it but you can see the shoes is maybe some bended but uh, after overall are looking good so yeah so once we have this thing right now 
uh, I'm going to add one more thing at here which is called basically the camera and uh, the stuff but for now I'm going to add that in I'm thinking to add that in the next part uh, so for uh, first part uh, for this part we have done but still I'm, I want to show you so that's what I'm going to show you that we need to enable the camera lag and the speed basically the camera lag is basically how much speed will be going to give it will be work more that slow so let's give it that a value to 20 it's basically the as higher value you're going uh, your lagging will be more and you'll be fine more smooth stuff so for example something like that okay now it's not looking too much great at all right now what I'm seeing so I'm giving that uh, debug camera look so you can see basically why it's basically the debugging so you can see the character basically how it's uh, rotating and other stuff as well so yeah let me just increase the value to camera lag speed to 50 hmm. and I'm going to uh, enable the debug as well I'm keep it something like that so I can see that how, how, how it's behaving so I guess we need to let's give it some more or earlier let's basically redux yeah okay so sorry uh, I maybe did a wrong one uh, basically if you go the lower value you'll find more smoother stuff something like that you can see this is now more uh, smooth okay what we basically needed so <clears throat> if you go uh, because it's a third person stuff so this angle is pretty much okay but if you think you want to show your character uh, more near you can put it but I think this as a uh, if I compare with a GTA this is quite enough okay but you, we can make even more uh, decent we can keep our player more decent so you can see the how the lagging is behaving so it's good okay fine so now we have something like this so don't worry about this uh, the debug so we'll be fix it in the next part okay and it even is we just need to simple uh, untick that and it's going to be fixed okay so now you can see the what we have right now i'm not there yet it's looking very bad but yeah we'll fix that very soon okay so i guess you understand for today's part and in the next part we are going to improve our character more we are going to add some give him some more skill kind of like uh, the vehicle entry system and we are yeah probably going to create a way vehicle system so our player can be drive there okay so thanks so much for watching guys see you in next video